Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the new Too Faced Teddy Bear palette. So this palette is super, super cute and it has a bunch of neutrals and gorgeous shades in here. So I really wanted to try this one out today. It just comes in a little box with a bear on the front and then a little swatch of all of the shades on the top of the box with each of the names. And this is the palette itself. Super cute gold packaging. It's a very thin and sleek palette. All of the names are on the back here. There's a small mirror on the top, and then these are all of the gorgeous, gorgeous shades. Super wearable. I already swatched a few of those shimmery colors, and they're so gorgeous. So I will show you guys those next, so let's get started. So I'm going into this shade for real, which is this gorgeous shimmer, and this color, we are using this one today. Like, hands down. This one is being used on the eyes. Look at how gorgeous that is. It's like this beautiful gold shade. Now I'm going into the shade Lace Teddy, which is this shimmer right here. And this one is also really gorgeous. It's a little bit more of like a rose gold color. Shade Pot of Honey, which is right in the middle. This is what that one looks like. These colors are just so, so pigmented. And then finally, I'm going into the shade Press Pause, which is right here. That's what that one looks like so I'm really impressed by the swatches of these colors I'm really excited to see how they look on the eyes so I do have my lids already primed and I already have on my foundation and concealer I want to keep the eye neutral but I want to have like a smoked out winged liner look and add some glitter to that first I'm just going to kind of set the primer that I had applied so I am going in with the shade bare it all which is just a matte neutral color and I'm using a fluffy Real Techniques brush and just buffing that all across my crease and my lid. Now I'm going into the shade Teddy Bear right here and I'm using a Morphe M433 brush and I'm just going to buff this right on the outer corner of the eye and drag it down about halfway onto the lid so that we can start to build up those transition colors. That same shade and just lightly drag that across the crease so we can add a little bit of color there. Now I'm going into the shade Sharing is Caring right over here. It has a little bit more of a pinky tone to it so I'm just placing that right over top of the shade that we just laid down on that outer corner. I'm going to use the darkest shade in the palette right here on a small angled brush and I'm just going to use this shade to wing out the outer corner of the eye and then just lightly using whatever is left on the brush to just soften that line but I'm only dragging it inwards we will go back and deepen it up later but I'm just leaving it like this for now I don't want to make that line too dark because I don't want the eyes to look super super dark today i just want to kind of have that nice soft blended out almost like fox eye look and then i'm just dragging that same shade across halfway on my upper lash line so now using a morphe blending brush i'm going into the shade stuffed and just lightly placing that towards my upper lash line I am going into the shade Fuzzy Wuzzy, which is this dark shade right in the middle. And using another Morphe M433 brush, I'm just going to, again, place this along that outer corner. And using that same shade, I'm just going to lightly drag that across the outer half of my crease. Now I'm going to go into that shade that I swore we would use earlier called For Real, which is that gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer. And I'm just going to use my finger, like look at that color, how can I not use that shade? And you could also use a brush instead of your finger, but I just feel like sometimes the brush doesn't help the eyeshadow to show up with that same pigmentation. I'm just going to tap this right onto the center of the lid. You could definitely cut your crease before applying this shadow. But cutting your crease will definitely give a more defined look and a more sharp look. So I wanted to keep this look very soft today. So I'm just not cutting my crease. And just to clean up this outer edge, I'm going in with some concealer on a concealer brush. And just lightly cleaning that up. 
There's really no fallout with that shimmery color, so I'm really happy with that. So I do think that I'm going to add a shimmery brow highlight or inner corner highlight later on, but for now, I'm just going to use that matte cream color. Just highlight the brow bone with that. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going into the shade Stuffed on a Morphe M506 brush. Just this really teeny tiny blending brush, dragging that along the lower lash line. So now that that is done, this part is optional, but I am going to line my waterline with some black pencil liner. So I'm just going to go back into the palette real quick and go in with that angled brush and use the darkest shade on the end. And for lashes today, I'm using my Kiss Flirty Lashes and I'm just popping them on with some Duo Eyelash Glue. And now I'm going in with some Too Faced mascara and applying this to my top and bottom lashes. So for my highlighter on my eyes, I am going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Ice Me Out. And I'm using a pencil brush and just placing this shade on my brow bone and then placing that right onto my inner corner just to really make the eyes pop. Now that the eyes are finished, we can move on to the face makeup. So I'm starting out with my Kylie Cosmetics Bronzer in the shade Tequila Tan. And I'm using this really fluffy Real Techniques brush. I'm just contouring my face. And then going in with some translucent powder on a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to clean up my contour. Then using my Kylie Cosmetics blush in the shade Flutter in Love from the Kylie Cosmetics Stormy Collection, I am just going to place this onto the apples of my cheeks and onto the tip of my nose. Going in with a fluffy brush, I'm just dusting all of this powder off. And then finally, I'm going back in with that same highlighter that we used earlier on the eyes, and I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now for lips, I am just going to apply some NYX lip pencil, and I am going to apply my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy right over top of that. So this is the finished look. So I would definitely recommend this palette to you guys. I think that the colors in here are gorgeous. The shades blend beautifully and I can definitely see that this will be a palette that I will be reaching for a lot. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell button to turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.